hey guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'll be showing you exactly how to create gradients just like these ones that you're seeing on the screen right now let's get started there are essentially three aspects or three parts to this tutorial the first part is just getting the design done so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and bring out a rectangle so select your rectangle tool and click and drag across the canvas so you have a rectangle filling the entire frame the color doesn't matter right now we just need that rectangle on the screen the second element that we need is a circle so let's go ahead and create our circle holding down shift to have a perfect circle on our screen go ahead and click escape and center your circle in the canvas now we can actually go ahead and change the color so let's go ahead and select shape go to fill color and change this color to a lighter pink to do that simply select one of the hsb sliders and adjust the saturation a bit once that's done go to filters go to blur gaussian blur and add your gaussian blur and you want to just crank up this value as much as you desire to get that nice gradient effect that you want with this done you've created your first gradient you can save this group as pink gradient so let's go ahead and rename it pink gradient to save it go to library favorites and simply click and drag it down into the favorite section now whenever you need it again you can always click and drag it out to the project pane and you have two copies of your pink gradient now to change this pink gradient from pink to any other color all you need to do is go back into the inspector select the rectangle color go to shape fill color and let's say we want to make this red let's select a red here let's go to our circle select fill color again and adjust the color of the circle definitely jump back to your hsb sliders and adjust it as you wish to get that nice even gradient that you want you can always change the position of the circle by clicking and dragging to move it around you can always change the size by going to properties scale to scale it down or up and in scaling it up you definitely get a more even gradient and if you want to refine it even more you can always jump back to the gaussian blur filter and just crank up that amount even more to get that smooth gradient that you desire you can also always go back to the color and change it so let's go from red to blue and let's change our circle from this pale red or pale orange here to a different shade of blue and you can always just save this so let's say blue gradient go to library and save once more now i already have a bunch of these saved so let me just pull them up so you can see exactly what's going on here So in my gradient backgrounds, I have this orange to red, I have this blue, this paler blue, this other variant of red, and this pink one here. And you can create as much gradients, as much radial gradients as you want using the technique that I just taught you. So if you found value in this video, give it a like, subscribe, and definitely turn on that notification bell so you can see more tutorials just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.